channel so in today's video i'm going to share with you the makeup tutorial of this look that you are watching here this is a very soft and subtle spring makeup look i have used all spring colors like rust and orange to create this look and i have used only one palette that is wet and wild rose in the air palette to create the eye look this is a full coverage yet so simple makeup tutorial and you can wear this makeup look in any party occasions or even in weddings if you want to know how i created this look then please keep on watching next i'm going to moisturize my face with this nivea moisturizer moisturizing your face before any makeup is really essential so i'm going to apply it on my face and neck and i'm going to blend it out with my fingers for my primer today, I'm going to use this pack pore primer. This is a really nice primer and this blurs out your pores so nicely and gives you a smooth base for your foundation. And this makes your makeup long lasting. I'm not going to rub it. I'm just going to pat it with my fingers on my T-zone area. Next for color correcting, I'm going to use this Yellow Girl Pro Conceal in yellow character and orange character. I'm going to mix them both and I'm going to apply them under my eyes, sides of my mouth and wherever I have a little pigmentation and acne spot. I'm blending it out with a damp beauty sponge I'm going to use a tapping motion I'm not dragging it at all for my foundation today I'm going to use this L'Oreal infallible foundation this is a full 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 coverage foundation that's why I'm using it First, I'm going to take two pumps of it on the back of my hands. Then I'm going to apply it on my face and neck in a dotting motion. Always apply foundation on your neck to avoid that mask effect. Next, I'm going to blend it out with the same beauty sponge. And again, I'm using a tapping motion. I'm just bouncing the sponge on my ears I'm not taking any extra product I'm just applying whatever is left on the sponge for my highlighting concealer I'm going to use this Maybelline fit me concealer in the shade 20 sand stable and I'm going to apply it under my eyes in a big triangular shape makes your under eyes so bright and covers all the darkness i'm also going to apply on my eyelid to create a smooth base for my eyeshadow i'm also highlighting the bridge of my nose center of my forehead cupid bow chin side of my mouth and just under where i'm going to apply my contour next i'm going to blend it out the foundation with the same beauty sponge and again i'm using a tapping motion always blend your highlighting concealer really well otherwise it looks really really odd now i'm taking this makeup revolution luxury banana powder and i'm going to apply it wherever i have applied the highlighting concealer I am using my damp beauty sponge and I'm just pressing it so that my concealer doesn't crease. For setting my whole face, I'm using this Nika Skin Genius Compact and I'm just dusting it all over my face. 
so lightly. For cream contour, I'm going to use this Illegal Pro Conceal in the shade Toast and I'm going to contour my face. I'm just applying it on the hollows of my cheekbone, on the chin area. Just under my lower lip, my forehead and I'm also going to contour my nose. Contouring your face gives you a really structured looking face and it looks really good in photos. Now I'm going to blend my concealer with the same beauty sponge using a tapping motion. And I'm going to blend it as quickly as possible because this concealer tends to settle down really quickly. Now I'm going to set my contour with this Makeup Revolution Duo Face Sculpt and I'm going to use this darker shade with an angular brush like this and I'm going to set my contour. With a smaller eyeshadow brush like this, I'm going to set my nose contour. Contouring makes your face look more chiseled and structured and slimmer. I'm blending all this out with the same beauty sponge so that everything looks seamless and smooth. For my blush, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Miller Wine with a fluffier brush like this. This is a very nice terracotta uh, color, terracotta orange color and this is perfect for this look. First, I'm going to apply it on my apples and then I'm going to blend it out with my contour. Blending out your blush with your contour is really important so that everything looks even and smooth and seamless. For filling up my brows, I'm going to use this Milani Brow Pomade in the shade 05 Dark Brown. I'm not going crazy with my brows. I want a very natural looking brows. So I'm just following my natural brow shape. I'm outlining it first. Then I'm going to fill up any gap using a vertical stroke. I'm brushing it with the spoolie. So that there is no patchiness. Now for my eyes, I'm going to take this shade right here with a fluffier blending brush and I'm going to use it as my transition color. I'm taking little by little product and I'm slowly building the pigmentation. I'm not taking a lot of product at a time I'm just going to build up the pigmentation until there is a smooth gradation next I'm taking this shade with the same brush and I'm going to apply it on my crease Again, I'm using the same method. I'm taking little by little product and I'm slowly building up the pigmentation. It gives you a very soft and natural transition. blending brush I'm going to blend all this out so that there is no harsh edge next I'm taking this orange shade with a smaller brush and I'm going to apply it just under my crease and I'm going to blend it out 
with my crease color this eyeshadow palette is a bombdigree.com i'm telling you guys and you should have it in your vanity and you can create so many looks using just one palette again i'm taking little by little product and i'm going to blend it out nicely and i'm just building up the pigmentation even more I'm using this dark rust kind of a color with a fluffier brush like this and I'm going to apply it on my outer V area to give my eyes a little more depth again I'm taking a little by little product and just I'm slowly depositing the color and the pig building up the pigmentation I'm going to blend all of this out with the same blending brush so there is no harsh edge at all now I'm taking this golden shimmery shade with a flat brush like this and I'm going to apply it on the inner third of my eyes and I'm going to create a kind of a soft cut crease shade is not that pigmented so I wetted my brush with a makeup setting spray to make it work again blending all this out with a blending brush now I'm highlighting my inner corner and my brow bone with a smaller brush and I'm using the same shimmery shade Now with a smudger brush I'm going to apply the orange and the rust shade under my lower lash line to make everything look put together. Now I'm going to use this Maybelline Colossal Eyeliner to make a very thin winged eyeliner. I'm not making any bold eyeliner because I want my eye look to be very soft and subtle. I'm having a tough time making the wing because this eyeliner has dried up. For my waterline, I'm going to use this Maybelline Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to apply it on my waterline and I'm also going to tight line with it. For my 
mascara i'm going to use this maybelline colossal mascara and i'm going to coat my upper and lower lashes with it <music> Eye makeup is nearly done and I loved how it turned out. I will quickly pop up some lashes and I will finish my other eye and I'll be back. Quickly applied some lashes. These are pack eyelashes in the style 55. These are very natural looking lashes. Now for my highlighter, I'm going to use this Sivana color brick highlighter in the shade 02 and I'm going to take this second shade from the bottom with a fan brush and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones, bridge of my nose chin, cupid bow and just above my eyebrows it gives eyebrows a very lifted look I decided to go with a nude lips this is wet and white liquid lipstick in the shade give me mocha and i'm going to line my lips with this rimmel lip liner in the shade exaggerate first i'm going to line my lips and i'm going to fill it up with the same lip liner applying this wet and white lipstick I think this looks perfect with a nude lip but if you want to apply any darker shade definitely you can <music> setting my face I'm going to use this L'Oreal infallible makeup setting spray and I'm going to split some on my face I'm just slightly bouncing my beauty blender so that everything looks smooth and seamless and here is the final look really loved the way it turned out this is very wearable and very easy makeup look like this video then please do not forget to give me a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me in instagram facebook and twitter all the links will be given in the description bar below see you in my next video till then bye bye